In this video, I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step beginner tutorial on how to use Photopea, which is a free online photo editor so you can start making clickable thumbnails that get lots of views. Let's go. Hey guys, I'm the Gang Influencer, helping 1000 channels get to 1000 subscribers, so if you are new here, consider subscribing. Comment down below if this video was helpful and let's get right into the video. So the first thing you want to do is you want to press new project because you're going to make a new project and then you can name whatever you want. So I'm just going to name this, um, going to name this sample and then over here we can adjust the width and height. So basically, um, for thumbnails, you want to use the HD one. So you're going to want to use 1920 for the width and then 1080 for the height and then you can pick templates if you want but for this we're just gonna click create and then once you're here if you go up to file and if you click open in place this is where you can be able to put in whatever files you want or whatever files you need from your computer onto photopea so for this let's just try to find the file right here so when it what all you do is you click it you can either double click on it or you can just click open and then load the file it'll load the picture right here now after you've loaded it in if you hold shift and while holding holding on the mouse you can make it bigger and then after you're done it's just you can click on the mouse tool and it'll go like this so now we have our background or we have our first layer yeah photopea actually comes with layers for you guys to use um, which is very useful especially when you're doing um thumbnails like this so now i'm going to teach you how to add text so what you can do is you can go over here to the type tool which is like a letter t symbol and click on type tool then you just click on wherever you want to put the text you just click on the image and then right after you do that all you have to do is start typing let's just do um how to Fortnite, and then you can highlight you can make sure that you have everything selected and you can also change the size here so let's let's keep it at let's see 180 let's see and then once you're to move the text around you can go back up to the move tool which should be a which should be a mouse and then you can just drag the text wherever you want so we're just gonna go back to the type tool before the tutorial continues, if you're getting value from this video so far, then leave a like on the video and let's continue the tutorial. So whenever you need to type something, you have to go back to the type tool to, to type it. And then you can select whichever, whatever text you want here. So, and by the way, you can also load fonts from your computer. So one that I use is called Bloomer. This one that I have loaded from my computer so we'll get the font and then over here you right click on the text and go to blending options this is where you can mess around with strokes and other stuff to make the text look better so right now we're just gonna put on a color overlay so we're gonna click the click on color overlay and then you can select whichever color you want so in this case we'll just choose white and then for stroke you can add a stroke and then you can select how big you want the stroke to be if you want it to be big or small uh, I used to use 16 and then you can select whichever color you want so we're just gonna keep the color as black because black usually looks better now I'm gonna teach you how you can add saturation and other filters to whichever layers you want so you want to make sure they have absolutely selected then you want to go to image then you want to hover over adjustments and then over here you can adjust the brightness saturation we have hue and slash saturation we have um all these different things that you can adjust so for right now we're gonna adjust the brightness so we're gonna make this a little bit brighter so it pops out 
and then we're just gonna adjust the saturation because you remember what I said and in my previous video about the best thumbnail makers you have to make sure that your thumbnails are saturated and sharpened because it'll get your thumbnail way more clicks and then if you want to have a blurry background like background image so what you want to do is you want to make sure that you have your layer selected or whatever you want to add the blur to then you want to go to filter then you want to go to blur then you can adjust whatever blur you want so we'll go to Gaussian you want to go to Gaussian blur and then right here you can adjust how blurry you want your image to be okay once you found what you want you can click ok by the way if you ever want to know how to grow on twitch then click on top of the youtube card to learn how to grow from 0 to 20 viewers on twitch so basically if you want to if you want to double if you want to make a duplicate or something to just make it easier for yourself you can right click on the layer that you want to um, multiply and you can click du duplicate layer what that basically does is if you drag it with your mouse it'll make two of them so it's, it's pretty easy and it'll save a bunch of time if you just don't want to do it again and again so i'll show you guys once we have once all the text is big enough so we have the text and i put how to play fortnite for beginners how you can find Im other images to put into your thumbnails is what i used to do is that actually all i do is go to google so we want to go to google.com and then basically all you want to do is just let's say i want to find a person like pointing to or let's say i just want to find a fortnite character because it'll look good with whatever since i'm doing how to play fortnite for beginners i'll probably want to put fortnite character so let's say i want to put i want to do a fortnite skin that's why I, that's why i want to add to my thumbnail make sure that you put fortnite skin and then you add png to it so that when you put it into photopea it's going to be see-through and like all the background color is going to be cut out so it's just that image so basically um let's just take let's just say i want this skin so i'll do is i'll right click on the skin you can either do copy image or you can download it and then paste it so what you basically want to do is want to save the image and then you want to download it and then once you've downloaded the image then you can go to file open in place and um, drop it into photopea so you can adjust how big you want it just by pressing transform controls right here using the pointer tool it'll make the image bigger or you can adjust how big or small you want the image to be and with these pictures you can also right click on the layer and you can add strokes and all that stuff so there's different things you can do drop shadow you can do glows pattern overlay gradient overlay there's satin there's inner glow there's inner shadow and texture contour bevel and emboss so i'm just gonna do a drop shadow because i think it'll look pretty good with the skin with these layers the cool thing you can do with these layers is you can if you put how to play this text over the over the picture the fortnite skin you can actually as you can see if i drag how to play over it it actually covers the image which is pretty cool so you can adjust the layers and where you want the images to be according to position so um we're just gonna put all of these over this layer right here and as you can see the Fortnite character is beneath all the text, so it looks way nicer. And also, what a cool th there's other tools that you can use. There's the eraser tool. Basically, what you do with this tool is you all you have to do is make sure that it's re rasterized, and then you can start erasing whatever things you want, and it'll just erase like that. So, guys, once you're done making whatever thumbnail you want and it looks nice and good to your liking, then all you have to do is you go to file. And then you can either save as PSD, which basically means that you're saving it as a PSD file. As you can see under new project, you can actually open from computer. This is when you open your PSD file, whatever you named the PSD file, you can actually open it and you can continue to work on whatever part 
project you left off at or you didn't finish that way if you mess up or you did something wrong you can always go back to the same project and fix it and all you have to do is just re-download the image so to download the image all you have to do is go to file then export as png because that's the picture file or photo file so then you just make the format png keep everything the same we don't really need to change anything here and then you just click save and then it just downloads it on your computer and now you can make this your thumbnail for youtube if you want to grow your channel then click or tap the youtube card to check out my how to grow on youtube ultimate guide playlist where i have tips on every aspect of youtube so you can start taking your channel to the next level thanks for watching and remember keep grinding and i'll be flying peace